For years, Canon's EOS 7D line was the top choice for wildlife and sports shooters, rugged and fast. Now, rumors about the Canon EOS R7 Mark II are emerging, hinting at a revival in mirrorless form. Will it be a refined update or a full reinvention? Enthusiasts speculate whether it will be the mirrorless heir to the 7D legacy or a miniature R1. Let's explore what we might expect. Some suggest a wild jump to 40 megapixels, a number that sounds exciting but could introduce trade-offs. Others think Canon might go backwards to 24 megapixel, which would be a tough pill to swallow for wildlife shooters. The most grounded speculation, however, points to a newly designed 32.5 megapixel stacked backside illuminated APS-C sensor, the same resolution as the original R7, but with much faster readout speeds. And that's a smart move. The original R7's rolling shutter issues during its 30 FPS burst mode made fast action photography a mixed experience. This upgraded sensor would keep the detail, but finally make 30 to 40 FPS shooting usable. If Canon pairs the new sensor with the Digic X and Digic Accelerator like in the R5 Mark II, the R7 Mark II could potentially achieve up to 40 FPS in electronic shutter mode. However, this requires better buffer performance, as early R7 users faced issues with rapid buffer fill. To improve this, Canon should implement faster memory throughput with CF Express Type-B support along with a UHS-2 SD slot for versatility. Additionally, we expect advancements in AI-driven subject tracking with the Digic Accelerator chip, enhancing performance especially for erratic subjects like birds in flight. Canon isn't known for giving away the house when it comes to video features on mid-range bodies, and the R7 Mark II probably won't change that. While some rumors have hinted at 8K recording in Canon Log 2, more plausible specs include oversampled 7K to 4K at 60p from the 32.5 megapixel sensor, 4K at 120p, likely with a crop, and 10-bit 4.2 to color in most modes. Canon Log 3 is expected, not Log 2. And while heat management should improve over the original R7, don't expect active cooling unless Canon makes its R5 Mark II cooling grip compatible here as well. Interestingly, 240 FPS at 1080p is still up in the air. It's a tempting feature for action shooters, but Canon rarely includes it in mid-tier models, and when it does, the quality often takes a hit. More likely, solid, reliable 4K with better rolling shutter performance. The R7 II is expected to adopt ergonomic features from the R5 Mark II, including a refined grip and an improved AF joystick. The body may increase slightly in size, but will remain lightweight. The EVF could see an upgrade to 5.76 million dots with a faster refresh rate, while the rear LCD might see enhancements in resolution and brightness, though not as dramatic as Sony's tilt design. If the R7 II does bring all these upgrades, don't expect it to hold the R7's price tag. Sources suggest a sub $2,000 is likely, which still positions it attractively for semi-pros and advanced hobbyists. As for release timing, don't look for it in the spring. Q3 or Q4 of 2025, think July through September, seems far more realistic. Although delays into late 2025 remain on the table if firmware or manufacturing hits snags. The Canon EOS R7 Mark II aims to combine pro-level speed with accessibility. If it enhances the sensor, buffer, and autofocus, it could redefine APS-C mirrorless cameras. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop your thoughts in the comments. Is this the camera you've been waiting for?